Hi, Jim Stevenson here again with my two-minute take. A lot of people in the world just can't find peace. It's usually due to their circumstances. Poor health, or financial troubles, relationship issues, maybe regretting past bad decisions or fearing the future. Well, the first cut on Scott Jacob's new album, Made For More, is all about finding that elusive peace. You know, I told you about Scott's album the last time on this two-minute take, and I just want to encourage you to invest in it. You'll be glad you did. For the next several takes, I'm going to be talking about each one of the songs that are on the album. And the first cut is simply called Perfect Peace. And this song is a thoughtful treatment of Isaiah 26. You can tell that Scott has really meditated on that song. These are not just clever rhymes that have very little to do with God. It's drawn right from the scripture. And he sings, you keep me in perfect peace when my mind is stayed on you. And that's taken from verse 3 uh, of Isaiah 26. And, and then the next line, I'm surrounded by the walls of your salvation, is a paraphrase of the first verse. Safe, secure, in firm foundation. Uh, that's, of course, an allusion to Jesus Christ. You know, 1 Corinthians 3.11 says, For no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. And uh, then he gets into the refrain. Let my obedience to your commands and to your holy ways reveal to all the world my heart's desire to glorify your name. Again, that's a, a, a good paraphrase of the 8th verse of Isaiah 26. And after the refrain, he moves back to verse 2. It says, My heart yearns for you at night and it yearns for you by day. That's basically verse nine. When the darkness hides the light, let my faith be on display, never leaning on the scope of my perspective, always trusting in the means of your objectives. And so you can tell, as I said, that Scott has really meditated on this passage from Isaiah, and he's done a beautiful job of putting it into music for us to enjoy. Now musically, it feels like a soft rock sound. The first four bars, of the intro or just simple piano, later joined by the rhythm section. But the transition from the verse to the bridge is a clever key change. It's up a major third and amp things up into a, a broader sweeping sound with a vocal duet while the band gets a more aggressive groove going. And this section reveals Scott's passion, shows off his broad vocal range. And then, very subtly and smoothly, the music returns to the original key of F for the second verse. Now this is a song that extols the grace and goodness of our God, and it'll encourage you to draw near to Him. I think you'll find that the music will grow on you too. <laughs> Maybe you'll find yourself humming it in the shower. So look, do yourself a favor and download the album. It's available on iTunes for $9.99. Well, that's my two minute take. Now, peace out.